Hello guys, Uncle Sam here again. This is another true life story. Please subscribe, like and turn on notification bell to notify you when we upload new stories. Let's get to it. Once upon a time in a city in Africa, there lived a young beautiful girl named Alice. Alice is 22 years old and a 200 level student. Studying theater art, she has so much passion to become an actress one day. And from her performance in school it was obvious she is born to be an actress. In her department, Alice is ranked as one of the best actresses in her school, but things turned for the worse. One day, Alice received a call that her father Mr. Royce, had a car accident, on his way back from work, and he is in the hospital. Alice lost her mom to cancer barely one year ago, so the father has been the one providing for her and two of her younger sisters, Linda and Mercy, who are still in secondary school. She rushed to the hospital to see her father, and the doctor gave her the news that her father is in a coma, but his brain is well alive, so there are chances he will wake up soon, and he is placed in oxygen to help him breathe well. It was not a great news for Alice and her sisters, but a little bit of hope is better than no hope at all. Alice had to find a way to take care of her sisters, since they were not so young, she could leave them and go to school, but every weekend, she comes home to put things in order for the new week, and due to the situation, Alice could hardly concentrate in school. She always check her phone to see if there is a missed call from the hospital that her father is awake, but the call never came. Two months passed and there is no sign of her father waking up, Alice didn't know what to do, there was no money left for them to feed, so she knew she had to do something, or come up with a plan, or else she might have to drop out of school and her sisters as well. The university planned to have their cultural day and the theater art department are to present a drama on that day. Alice was selected as one of the students to perform, but during the practice, it was obvious her mind was off, and she was asked to step down and sort herself out. Her friend, Jane, came to her after the practice. Alice opened up to her and Jane said, My friend, I have been the one paying my school fees and hostel fees, Alice asked her how. Jane said, I use what I have to get what I want, just download the app for hookup, and get men from the app, they pay well if you negotiate well with them. Alice asked, is that not prostitution? Jane replied, not really, people find true love from this app sometimes, so the people who use them are girls who need money, to solve one or two problems. It's not like you're going to stand on the street and advertise your body, but Alice refused. Jane took Alice's phone and downloaded the app, uploaded her pictures and told her, if you like, you check it out, if not, you can leave it, the choice is yours and she left. That weekend, Alice went home and found there was nothing at all for her sisters to eat, she used the last money left on her to buy something small for them that night. As they went to bed, Alice is sitting on her bed awake, she couldn't sleep, she sat there crying. She has a very close relationship with her father, even before her mother died, so she tells him everything, she has gone to the hospital several times to talk to her father, as they said, talking will help him jack back to life. But so far, his condition remains the same. In one of her visits, she told her father everything including the app, Jane her friend, downloaded in her phone, but she assured him she will not make use of it, that she will find a way to make sure her sisters are fine. As Alice sat on her bed crying, thinking what to do next for money, they barely had anything to eat that night and she promised her younger sister she will make sure they have something better to eat in the morning, her phone beeped. She took it out. It was the app that Jane her friend downloaded in her phone, she checked and saw a picture of a good looking guy, asking if she is available, Alice ignored it at first, but then she remembered what Jane said, that people have met true love from the app, so she responded, yes, I am. Then the guy replied and asked her name, they started chatting, and the guy asked if he could come pick her up, that it is Friday night, 
and he doesn't want to go to the club alone. She didn't reply, the guy kept writing hello hello, are you there? But she ignored it and the guy apologized and said, sorry, I will give you 5000 for the night, and I will make sure you get home safe. Alice looked at her phone, her mind ran to all they can do with that money, she might not need to drop out of school if this goes well, but she will have to sell her body to get that money. As she was thinking what to do, her younger sister came into her room and said she could not sleep, she is very hungry. Alice managed to calm her down and told her, she will go out and buy whatever she wants that night, so Alice sent the guy, location and her bank account number, he replied, I am on my way, and immediately the 5000 alert came into Alice's phone, she quickly went out that night and got bread for her sister, and the guy came, she was hesitant to follow him, but after the guy came down from the car to let her see him and introduced himself as Luke, they got into the car and left. The weekend was over and Alice went back to school, she sat with her friend Jane and told her how she went with a guy called Luke, from the app and that at the club, she met another rich guy called Oscar, Jane added, everybody knows Oscar, he is a young millionaire, so Alice said yes, that she and Luke sat at Oscar's VIP section, but the part she didn't like was sleeping with Luke, he is a nice guy but, she feels bad about it. Jane told her, cheer up my friend, a girl's got to do, what a girl's got to do. Another month passed and Alice's father has still not woken up. One morning as Alice was about going into class for a lecture, she receives a call from the hospital that they have news for her, that she needs to come to the hospital. She thought it was good news, and hurried down to the hospital, as she got there, she received the worst news of her life. The doctor told her, the company where her father works, are not willing to continue paying for his medical bills anymore, that if she cannot make payment to keep her father in the ICU, they may need to pull the plug, and let him go. That night was the worst night in Alice's life, since her mother's death, she and her sisters cried the whole night, she needed to come up with 350,000 for her father's treatment for the next month or else they will pull him from oxygen. Alice didn't know what to do, the only choice she has is Oscar, she didn't know how he got her number, but he has been calling her for a while, offering her 50,000 to spend a night with him. As the day draw near, the doctor called to remind her she needs to make part payment of 100,000 and she promised to bring the money. Later that day, she went to the hospital and told her father everything, and told her father, she would do it to save his life, she has no choice, she can't afford to lose both parents in less than two years. That night, Alice called Oscar and said she is ready, Oscar sent her money to take Uber and she went to visit him. He lives alone in a big mansion, his house is very beautiful, he took her out to eat in a very expensive restaurant, when they came back from the restaurant, then they did it. And Oscar gave her 50,000 cash, as she was getting ready to leave, Oscar asked her, do you want to make extra 150,000 this night? I know you need the money, she didn't understand, Oscar said, I have my pet in the second room, if you can make love to him, I will pay you extra 150,000 and you will live here with 200,000 this night. Alice asked what kind of pet. Oscar went and opened the door and she saw a big snake lying on the bed, she was so scared, Oscar said to her, don't be scared, it's only a pet, he went in and carried it to show her it don't bite, but Alice ran and stood at the door, Oscar dropped the snake and closed the room, then he asked Alice, so what do you say? Are you in? Or out? Alice shouted, I am not interested. Please I want to leave now. Oscar told her she can go, on her way, she felt so dirty, that was when it dawned on her that Oscar is a ritualist, so she vowed never to go back to him again. But one week down the line, Alice has not come up with the other part of the money, she managed to pay only the 50,000 she got from Oscar, 
which was not even half of what she needed to pay so the doctors called to give her three days to make the payment of 150,000 or else, they will pull the plug. Alice was cornered badly, she has no choice. She called Oscar and asked if the offer was still on the table and he said yes, she can come anytime. One day to the deadline, Alice went to see the doctor and assured him she would make payment the next morning, after speaking with the doctor, she went to see her father, who was lying motionless in his bed, and she whispered into his ears and said, Dad, as I am leaving this hospital, I am going to make love to a snake so I can raise the money to pay for your hospital bills, if after all this, you don't make it, I will kill myself, because it will be all for nothing, she got up and left. Heading straight to Oscar's house. At Oscar's house, he offered her a drink but she refused and said, he is here for business, so let them get down to business, Oscar told her, just lie down in the bed and switch off the lights, let my snake do what he wants, then you will get the money, 150,000 cash, he opened a briefcase and showed her the money, then he said, I will give you extra 5,000 for Uber, just to appreciate you. Alice was in tears, but she said she is ready, she went into the room and laid on the bed, Oscar switched off the light and closed the door. After two hours, Alice came out of the room, she met Oscar drinking in the living room and she immediately ordered an Uber, Oscar asked her to wait and eat something but she refused and said she needs to leave immediately. As the Uber arrived, Oscar gave her the briefcase, she checks to be sure and the money was there, Oscar laughed and said, I don't joke or double cross people, I keep my word, and then he transferred extra 5000 to her account and she left. The next day, Alice quickly rushed and paid the father's bills, she was not looking so good and couldn't speak properly due to what has happened to her, but she couldn't tell her sisters, they won't understand. As she sat in her room alone thinking, Oscar called her and was shouting on the phone, where is my snake? I can't find my snake. Alice cut the call and blocked Oscar's number. A day passed and her friend from school, Jane, called Alice and asked her, girl, what did you do to Oscar? Oscar came to their school with two of his bodyguards to look for her, they stayed at the school the whole day, asking around and showing people her picture, Alice told Jane they can't speak on the phone they need to meet. Later that day, Alice and Jane meet in a restaurant, Alice was wearing a disguise, Jane asked her what is going on. And Alice told her the whole story. She concluded with, I couldn't go ahead with making love to the snake, when the snake climbed my body, after licking my body all around and wanted to go into my private part, I grabbed it by the head and killed it. I thought I could hold on and go through with it but I couldn't, so I killed the snake. Jane was scared, you did what? She asked her, why didn't you come to me first before going to meet with Oscar, why would you take such risk for what? So you killed the snake, where is the snake now? Alice replied, I took the snake and threw it away, Jane asked, how did you manage to leave the house with such a big snake and Oscar didn't suspect anything? Alice replied, I came with a big travel bag, to carry the money Oscar was going to pay me, because he said he would pay cash, but since he gave me the money with the briefcase, I used that bag to carry the snake. Jane was silent for a while, goose pimples rushed through her skin, then she said, so Oscar is a ritualist. But my friend you are in big trouble, what are you going to do, because Oscar won't rest till he finds you and you don't know what will happen when he does. Alice replied, I am so scared right now, I can't even sleep at night, I have been thinking maybe I should go to the police and tell them everything. Police. What will you tell the police? That you went to a man's house and killed his pet, snakes are used as pets these days, it is your word against his, and he has a lot of money to put you away for good and the end of the story is, you killed his pet. Alice kept quiet, 
Looking sad and confused, Jane said, maybe you need to leave the city for a while, go to the village, go into hiding till things cool off, this will affect your studies, but you can call the head of our department and tell him you will be away for a while, since exams are still far away. Alice said no. I can't leave, I did all this because of my father, I can't just leave him behind, Jane assured her that she would go visit the father from time to time and get back to her, so Alice agreed and said, she will leave with her sisters immediately she gets home. As Alice got home, she urged her sisters to start packing their things, that they are going to the village, the sisters were confused, but she said she would explain to them on their way, so they packed. As they came outside their house, they saw Oscar and his two bodyguards, waiting for them. Oscar looked furious, he asked Alice, where is my snake? Alice was shivering, she couldn't speak. Oscar said, if you don't give me my snake right now, you won't like what I would do to your sisters, where is my snake? Alice replied, I killed it, I couldn't go through with it, so I killed it. You what? Oscar shouted, do you know who I am? Do you have an idea, who you are dealing with? Oscar brought out an old looking traditional chain, he waved it toward her, immediately, Alice turned into a goat, in front of her sisters. Oscar told them, take her to your family, when they produce my snake, I will reverse the curse, he got into his car with his guards and left. The sisters, Mercy and Linda, stood there crying, they were confused, as they were crying, Alice phone rings. Linda who is older than Mercy, picked the call, it was from the hospital, the doctor told them their father is awake. They rushed to the hospital, as they saw their father, he asked, where is Alice? They couldn't reply, they started crying, their father Royce asked, is she still alive? They said yes, but she was turned into a goat by a man, just few minutes ago, their father asked, where is she now? They replied, she is in the sitting room. The father said, don't worry, I will fix everything, I know the whole story, I remember everything, we will get to the root of it. Story ends. Tell me, how far can you go for your family or your loved ones? Drop your thoughts in the comment section, and watch out for part 2. Moral of this story, life will always throw many challenges at you, but be careful how you respond, so it doesn't cost you your life. I remain Uncle Sam. Stay safe.